I quit my job yesterday to become a full-time indie developer, and today is my first day, and I can't help but think of Stardew Valley. So I played it again this morning. The game begins with our grandfather gifting us a letter, with his only instruction being to open it when the stresses of modern life become too much. Many years later, in our drab Jojo Mart cubicle, with harsh flickering lights above, the grind of our corporate job finally catches up with us. We open the letter to find our dear grandfather has gifted us his farm and urges us to go find the joys in life like he once did. We arrive in Stardew Valley to find the farm is in disarray in our new adventure has begun. I first played Stardew Valley many years ago. In fact, at the time, I remember having a job at a Fortune 500 company, and I worked in a cubicle. But the thought of being able to quit my job and go and work on something that I found joy in seemed like a very foreign idea. Now, for me, major life decisions don't just happen. Instead, it's a result of a bunch of little events, kind of dominoes that build up over time to eventually make a big life decision like quitting your job seem like the inevitable next step and stardew valley was definitely a domino at the beginning of the chain that helped me get to where i am today this morning as i was replaying stardew valley something stuck out to me that didn't happen the first time and that is the moment that you walk up to your farm for the first time and your character jumps up an exclamation at the mess that's in front of them there's a moment of fear and panic and a desire to run back to jojo mart where there was a stable job. I'm leaving the best job I've ever had at a company who respected me and was full of people that I respect for how hard they work day in and day out. I'm afraid that I don't know how to work hard enough to make a successful game. I'm afraid that I'm not a good enough developer or designer or that I can't tell a good enough story to make engaging YouTube content for you or that I'm not fun to hang out with over on Twitch when I'm live. And I know that those fears are imposter syndromes inside of me, but I want to share them with you because they're valid and honest, and I need to give them the space to be felt. So yeah, I'm afraid, but I'm also incredibly excited. And so I'm making this video both for you, but also for myself in the future. Hello, future Andy. That's actually my real name. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Andy. If you're watching this, it's likely because you feel stuck or lost or burnt out from the grind that is gonna be being a full-time indie developer, or maybe you're confused with what to do with your YouTube channel, your Twitch, or, or maybe you're mulling over the decision of getting a full-time job again. That's okay. This is gonna be a hard journey, and my only piece of advice would be to take a step back. Go take a break, go out into the woods, go leave all technology behind, play some Stardew Valley. Remember why we began this journey in the first place. Share your feelings with your friends, family, your community here on YouTube, over on Twitch. And when you're vulnerable, that's when you find the most connection. I am very afraid, but I know we got this. Good luck out there. Now, this is where I'm going to need your help. You see, I'm a silly monkey who has no idea what he's doing. I'm just making it up as I go. And my new 2D crafting and mining game is an idea that I've had for a year or so now, and it has only grown as something I want to do. And I'm excited to start implementing that now. And that's where I need your help. My games are the most successful when I listen to feedback and I iterate quickly, whether that's you leaving a comment down below, joining me in Discord, or hanging out with me live on Twitch. I'm the captain of the ship steering it, but you, you are going to be the fuel that keeps the ship going. And I promise that if you join me in this journey, you're gonna get inspired to either start your own game, to pick back up an old hobby, or to start making small changes in your life to live the best life possible. I know together we can make a kick-ass hit indie game. This is only the beginning. I've been Aramis, thank you so much for watching.